Okay, so what we have here are our billet washers and valve cover hardware for the, uh, the Gen 3 Hemis. And the first thing we wanna do is look at its flush configuration. Very typical with the original style valve cover bolts, you get nips, cuts, scrapes. I mean, I still have scars on my hands from some of those things. Very tight clearances, especially like on the A bodies where the valve cover is really close to that inner engine apron by the shock tower. So that is one reason why we really recommend these is for the flush nature of it. It just really cleans up the look and just aesthetically is so much better than this stud that you could, you know, potentially harm yourself with or nick up that nice paintwork with. So uh, furthermore, we're gonna look a little bit more into how it's built. We see that it has the tapered or countersunk end as well as the flat backside. So what this allows us to do with this countersunk head is apply proper even bolt loading across the washer and that will allow the force on this entire surface to push down evenly on your valve cover grommet or your gasket and we're going to see why that's really important later on in this video so let's kind of skip to and bring in a stock gen 3 valve cover what you'll typically have in the stock configuration is this piece of hardware on the grommet pushed into the valve cover. And you can see it does a great job of uniformly bolt loading and, and pushing down on that entire grommet consistently and providing a good seal on the bottom side of the valve cover. But it's it sticks up, it's intrusive, it's pretty ugly if you ask me, and it could you know cause nicks and scrapes, something that's pretty, pretty aggravating. So what do we do, what's the solution? If we look openly on the market right now, uh, ARP is a pretty good company. Uh, I love their products. They have really good hardware, really strong hardware. I think we have this. It's part number 4407502. And it works really well. Um, as far as you know, holding the valve cover down anyway, you place it in the original grommet and put it inside the valve cover. One thing we do notice though, is because of the size of the washer and the slack that it has, you don't really get a good uniform bolt loading across that seal and that gasket. And that ultimately causes the, the bushing to deflect and bend outward, sort of mushroom outward. And it doesn't allow for that good proper sealing on the bottom end of it when it comes to the cylinder head. So by utilizing these billet fender washers, you have done a couple things. You've minimized your clearances with any obtrusive studs sticking out and you're able to really center and put proper bolt loading on that gasket to try to minimize any leaks happening at the cylinder head itself. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you some living examples. We actually put both this valve cover bolt and our configuration on our test car. So the 1970 AAR CUDA with the Gen 3 Hemi swap and rode around for a couple of weeks. And we're gonna show you exactly what the results are in kind of a, a live test, live demonstration. So stay tuned. All right, guys, now we're here at the car, gonna go over our tests and kind of show you the results of what we've come up with. This is a real world test. Uh, you know, take it as you would, would like, unbiased, just kind of show you the reason why we developed these billet hardware. So let's go ahead and get this guy opened up. And use this super custom prop state. Yeah, we got to get a part number on that. Uh, I think it's like DG Dollar General 501 or something like that. <laughs> okay. So on the passenger side, running for the past couple weeks, we've had the the other hardware as we mentioned and you can see really at this point that the the grommet is mushroomed out and it really doesn't have the uniform bolt loading that you'd really want to to keep a proper seal this is the very telling part if you actually look down here at the bottom you can see the heat shield we're running a standard heat shield integrated uh, exhaust manifold gasket and that's what's actually protruding underneath the valve cover. You could see the oil drippings, especially on the very rear of the engine as the oil leaks from those valve cover gaskets and rolls towards the rear of the engine. And also you notice right here, it's a very tight point right here. This was another purpose for the hardware. With that stud sticking out, it was in very close 
uh, configuration or, or orientation to this inner shock tower. Now as the engine rocks and vibrates when we're driving it down the road and applying some of that go pedal, it could make contact and chip your paint. Again, this car, we're not really worried about chips, but in a show car, it may really concern you. And that's another point when you're getting your hands in in this area that it could, it could harm you. So it solves those two problems. It uniformly loads the valve cover uh, down on the cylinder head and it prevents leaks such as this. So let's take a look directly over at the driver's side. The driver's side has had our hardware installed for the same amount of time. And as you can see, the heat shield has no remnants, no leaks all the way front to rear. Now we didn't just clean this. It's, it's not a garage clean and we don't, you know, massage and decondition these in any way. If you run your finger on it, it still has dust and grime from road on it. Uh, that's just the true real world road test. So if you think that these valve cover, uh, bolts and washers can really help your build, just log on to the website. We have them available now for purchase and we should be able to ship them out within a day. Hey guys, it's your man Mike here. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see and it's bringing value to you, please do us a favor and hit the like and subscribe button. That way you can keep up to date with all the latest videos and content that we're going to bring you for your Hemi Swap. It's Hemi Swap the world, guys. See you.